Hi everybody and uh, welcome back to the Batlow Planner Cordon demonstration site uh, which is part of the Narrow Orchard Systems project. Uh, I'm here at the end of the second growing season just to give you an update to show you uh, where we've got to with the uh, remaining demonstration trees in this block. Uh, so uh, let's uh, let's get in there and have a look at how these trees have grown and, and where we've we've got to two seasons in. So in an earlier video, I uh, explained that we'd had some troubles with uh, tree uh, mortality in this block and the adjacent block uh, being commercially managed uh, this spring, and that caused a, uh, a rethink of the, the demonstration site, which was effectively a reduction to a smaller, a smaller area. Um, but uh, having said that, we've, uh, I'm fairly happy with uh, how things are looking at the end of this second season in our retained area it's uh we've got probably a little bit more than 50 percent of the trees have have uh, have all got uh, verticals in all vertical positions uh, and then the other trees that haven't quite got that are all on their way um, and have pretty well uh, established cordons now so we've we've got uh, a foundation to work from next spring to to start filling those spaces as well uh, so all in all not not too bad uh, one of the things I'm really excited or pleased by is that uh, there were some cordons that uh, w should have had vertical shoots in certain positions and they were just absent. They didn't produce vertical growth. Uh, so I think it was around about November I came through and did some uh, cinturing in certain positions on those cordons. And we've got a pretty good response to that cinturing um, in, in almost all the places where I, I, I did that uh, cinturing we've got a, a growth response and now we're, we've got verticals to select to, to place in that position. Uh, so that was pretty good to see that that response. Um, yeah, so, but all in all, it's, it's, it's not looking too bad. We did get a report back on, uh, you know, the likely cause of those tree mortalities this spring. And as we might have foreshadowed before, it seems like there was something happening with some bacteria uh, in, in, in the block. Um, and the report that we got back suggested it would, might be a complex of bacterial organisms involved uh, and possibly in conjunction with a, a, a frost that we had back in September, uh, the two interacting and, and uh, that seems to have resulted in those tree losses, which was unfortunate. Um, but it's, it's been really good that uh, Jeremy Smart has, uh, you know, given his rethink, has been uh, able to, to allow us to continue with the, the patch that we've got here. And, and things are looking pretty good two years in. Uh, thanks for joining us for this uh, end of season two update in the Batlow Planner Cordon block. Uh, we've got some trees doing some good things in here. It's starting to take shape. Uh, we've still got some work uh, to, to get those some of those verticals in place next spring. But uh, all, in, all in our remaining trees in here, things aren't looking too bad. Uh, there won't be much happening in here through the winter months, so we probably won't have another update now until mid-spring, uh, but we'll look forward to catching up then. Bye for now.